well, to put it bluntly, uh, Tisker Dins are very, very overpowered. Uh, they're expensive. Uh, whatever you do, do not use Diablo 2 JSP. Do not trade with people for, like, runes because you will get, like, not scammed, but the people don't understand the value of any item. They don't understand an economy. Full stop. Uh, I got all these from grinding myself. This is actually not that hard to do. You can build this character pretty quickly. Uh, the game's only been out for, you know, however many weeks. I got most of this stuff just joining free games, like free lobbies where people drop stuff. And people drop tea gods, people drop towels, because towels and uh, Griswolds are getting duped a lot, gnats are getting duped a lot, so there's a lot of those just circulating, and Blizzard doesn't seem to be doing anything about it. But anyway, here's how the build works. You need to put 20 points in Salvation, 20 points in Resist Lightning, one in each of these. You need to go down here and put uh, just enough points into Conviction so that you get 150 because that's the cap. You need to go over here, you need to use Charge, it's a travel skill. Use Holy Shield for doing Ubers because you already have good uh, block. This is 20, uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't accept the synergy from Holy Shock, Holy Shock is in a rune word, which is dumb, but... There's still enough DPS here with your Conviction Aura to kill other players when you want, when you need and want to. This is a PvP build. It can run Ubers, but it is a PvP-focused build. Your job is to go in and kill people and collect ears. Uh, you can flip-flop between these two. Uh, you don't really need more than one point into Zeal because of your charms. It already goes up to 14. Uh, and this is why we have those soft points into the resists. Uh, there's a reason we have an ohm rune in here is because otherwise you will have 90% frost resist instead of 95 and uh, that's bad because raven frost's cold absorb is 20% on screen off screen it's 40 which is the cap that's why we have inferno stride venom grip lightsaber it's all about the resists okay let's do a dry run we're going to test it out on some random stuff, and then we'll do some goobers, and I'll show you how serious this build can get. Okay, see, they're dying instantly. This is... Well, not instantly. When, when, the, when the aura for conviction ticks on them, they basically die instantly, because these two are level 15, but together, they're level 30. So this is how we travel. This, You get the idea. And most of this is not required you to. You're gonna take some damage from poison. Things like fire and lightning will actually heal you most of the time if they're below a certain pressure. That's pretty good damage. That's, that's pretty, that's pretty good damage. But, this is pretty good damage. Look at that. They just explode. They can handle it. It's Alright. But, PvP and random grinding aside, this build is a also viable. It's, it's you have to have everything, but it's viable and it can do everything. And it's like I said, very expensive. So we'll we'll do Ubers in a moment.